Hi and welcome to Annalise Maths. Today we're going to be doing a walkthrough of the um, past paper one for entry two um, at Excel Maths. I would recommend that you've done this paper prior to watching the video. If you haven't been able to get access to the paper, please pause at the start of each question, give your question a go, and then I'll have a look. Um, I'll have a talk through of the mark scheme for you. Okay, so let's get started with the non-calculator section first. We've got 25 minutes for this. Okay, question one. So Petra and Jonah are going on holiday to pool. Petra buys three new shirts for her holiday. Each shirt costs £9. How much in total does Petra pay? So if each shirt is £9 and she buys three of them, I'm doing nine times three. Don't forget, repeated addition is also the same as multiplication, so I could have done 9 plus 9 plus 9. So 9 times 3 is 27, so it's £27. Now I'm getting one mark for my process, so for knowing the correct calculation, I'm getting mark number 1, and mark number 2 is for my answer of £27. Question 2. Petra and Jonah are going to pool by train. Jonah has this information. So from home to the train station is 12 minutes and then the train to pool is 47 minutes. Jonah says it will take less than 60 minutes in total to go from home to pool. Is Jonah correct? Show why you think this. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is work out how long it's going to take them to get there. So if I need the total time, that's an addition. So it's a non-calculated paper, so I'm going to lay my sum up properly. So 12 plus 47. Okie dokie. So 7 plus 2 is 9. 4 plus 1 is 5. So it's going to take them 59 minutes. Now Jonah says it will take less than 60 minutes. So yes, Jonah's correct. Now for this question, I'm getting one mark for knowing that I needed to do an addition. So my 12 plus my 47, give me mark number 1. My correct answer of 59 and my yes, give me mark number 2. Petra works out how many seats there are on the train. Complete the calculation, 12 times 6. So I need to do 12 times 6. I can work that out. Um, I can just know my times table, but I'm going to work it out column method just in case. So 6 times 2 is 12. So 2 down, carry my 1. 6 times 1 is 6, plus my 1 gives me 7. So 12 times six is 72. I've used column method. If you use grid method, that's absolutely fine. As long as you ended up with 72. Jonah wants to buy some snacks on the train. He chooses between one large snack or two small snacks. How much more does one large snack weigh than two small snacks? So I need how much more, so I need the difference. So first thing, I'm going to have to work out what my two small snacks add up to. So to work that out, I'm going to do my, I could either do 46 times 2 or 46 plus 46. I'm going to do an addition. So 6 plus 6 is 12, 2 down carry my 1, 4 plus 4 is 8, plus my 1 is 92. So I know my two small stacks are 92 grams. Now we didn't need to know which one was bigger, we needed to know how much more. So I need to know the difference between 98 and 92. So I'm going to do a takeaway. So 98 take away 92. I could, of course, just start at 92 and count up until I get to 98. 8 take away 2 is 6. 9 take away 9 is 0. So it's 6 grams more. For this one, I was getting my first mark for knowing that I had to um, do my 98 take away 46 take away 46 or add them together and take them away first. And mark number 2 then was for my 6. So that's the end of the non-calculator paper. Let's move on to the calculator paper. Now for this one, I've got 65 minutes and I am allowed a calculator. I would recommend always using a calculator on any questions that you need to in the calculator paper because this is where small mistakes could happen. 
Petra and Jonah are going on holiday to Poole. They share the cost of the taxi to the hotel and they will each pay the same amount. So Jonah does this addition. So 22 something 2 equals 11. So if they're going to share the cost, they're going to share it equally. I know that that must be a divide. And let's see, 22 divided by 2 would be 11. So I'm getting one mark for knowing that would be a divide. So question two, Petra and Jonah arrive at the hotel in Poole. The date is the 10th of the 8th, 2020. They leave the hotel two days later. What is the date they leave the hotel? So if they arrive at the 10th, they stay the 10th until the 11th. That's one day will be the 11th. Two days will be the 12th. So they're going to leave on the 12th of the 8th. 2020. Need to make sure I've got my correct month and my correct year that I've copied that completely. So let's see question three. Petra and Jonah want a double room with a sea view. What is the price of the room? So I need a double room with a sea view so I can get rid of the information for single room. I don't need that and I can get rid of the suite. So it's a double room. I want garden view. That's not what I want. I want the sea view. So a double room with a sea view is £71. So I'm getting one mark for correctly reading my table. Question four. The cost of four breakfasts at the hotel is £56. How much does one breakfast cost? So if I know the cost of four is 56, then that's a divide. So I'm going to do it bus stop method, but please remember this is a calculator paper, so you can use a calculator for this. So how many fours in five? There's one, remain to one. How many fours in 16? Well, it's four. So my answer is 14, but it does say quite clearly here, use the correct symbol for money. So I need to remember to rewrite that with my pound sign. For this one, I was getting one mark for knowing it was a divide. So if I'd written 56 divided by four or done it as a bus stop, that would be my first mark. My second mark was for my 14 and my third mark there was for my pound sign. Round 56 to the nearest 10. When we're rounding to the nearest 10, it's our units that are the most important. And this is where we're saying five or above, we round up, four or below, we leave alone. So because that's above a five, it's going to round up to 60. So 56 to the nearest 10 is 60. It's also like saying is 56 nearer to 50 or nearer to 60. It's nearer to 60 because it's a five or above. Use the rounded number to check your answer to question four. So what it wants us to do is it wants us to do question four again, but using this rounded number instead of the 56. So instead of 56 divided by four, it wants me to do 60 divided by four, which would give me 15. So because 15 and 14 are very close to each other, that shows that I've done that correct. Petra and Jonah want a room with a sea view. They choose a room on the highest floor possible. Which room do they choose? So they want a sea view. So this one's a garden view. I'm going to get rid of that. That's a sea view. I'll keep that for now. This one's a sea view. I'll keep that for now. Garden view I'm going to get rid of. Sea view I'll keep. Garden view I'm going to get rid of. So we've done the sea view. They want the highest floor possible. So I've got the third floor the fourth floor or the first floor. So the fourth is the highest one with the sea view. Question seven, Petra and Jonah are going to their room. The rooms on the right have even numbers. What is the next even number? So don't forget even numbers are numbers that will be in the two times table. So two, four, six, eight, etc. So I've got 74, 76, 78. 79 is an odd number, 80 is the next even number. So I'm getting one mark for knowing my even numbers. Question eight, this is the temperature in the room. So it's currently 16 degrees. Petra wants the room temperature to be five degrees warmer. 
she sets the heating to 22. Did she set this correctly? So if it's 16 at the moment and she wants it five degrees warmer, she wants it to be 16 plus five. So let's see, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So if she wants it five degrees warmer, she wants it to be 21. Now she set it to 22. So is that correct? No, she hasn't said it correct. So for this one, I was getting one mark for knowing that I needed to do my addition and one mark for my no and my 21. I could have done 22 take away five and that would have got to a 17 as a starting point instead of 16 as a starting point. Petra and Jonah go to a restaurant. They choose the table in the middle of the restaurant. This diagram shows the restaurant, which table do they choose? So I want, they want to be exactly in the middle. So I'm gonna use process of elimination that it can't be those two because they're on the edge. It can't be those two. So it's gonna have to be in this row here and they want the one that's exactly in the middle. So it's table number eight they're gonna go for. Petra and Jonah look at the menu. They want a three course dinner that costs the least. So I'm going to deal with these two things separately. So they want a three course dinner. So this is a two course, so they don't want that. Three course, I'll leave it for now. This is another two course, three course, and this is another two course. So they want a three course dinner and the three I'm left with are all three courses. They want the one that costs the least. So I've got 37, 23 or 40. So 23 is my cheapest one. So they're going to go for the vegan dinner. And I'm getting one mark for identifying that that was indeed the lowest price three course meal. The cook at the restaurant makes pasta. The arrow shows the weight of the pasta. He needs 200 grams of pasta. How much more pasta does he need to the nearest division? Now, because it says nearest division, it wants us to identify where the arrow is, but to the nearest division. So my arrow's here. So this is the pasta he's currently got. So to the nearest division, he's currently got 150 because that arrow's nearer to the 150 than it is to the 125. Now he needs 200. So he needs 200 and he's currently got 150. So if I take those two away from each other, that shows me that he needs 50 grams more. So I'm getting my mark for my 50 grams. Jonah and Petra pay for the dinner. The dinner costs 50 pound. They leave one tenth of the cost as a tip. So how much do they leave as a tip? So I need one tenth of the cost. Now, when I'm doing fractions, remember to work out a um, fraction of an amount, it's my amount divided by the denominator, divided by that bottom number. So to get a tenth, I'm doing 50 divided by 10. Well, 50 divided by 10 is five, so they're leaving five pound as a tip. Question 13. The restaurant closes at 10 o'clock in the evening. Jonah and Petra get to the restaurant three hours before it closes. What time do they get to the restaurant? So it closes at 10 o'clock and they get there three hours before. So 10 to 9 to 8 to 7. So they get there at 7 p.m. So I need to identify which one of these says 7 p.m. Now this one says 7 a.m. So it's not that one. 1700 hours. Now I know my 24 hour clock and 1700 hours is actually 5 p.m. 1300 hours is 1 p.m. 1900 hours, that's my 7 p.m. So this is the one I need to tick. Question 14, Petra buys a poster in a tube. This is the shape of a tube. What is the name of this shape? Now this shape is called a cylinder, C-Y-L-I-N-D-E-R. 
So it's a cylinder is the name of that shape. Now, this is a maths test, not an English test. It is obviously brilliant that we try our very, very best to learn how to spell the words. However, if you've spelt this incorrectly, as long as the um, person marking it can tell what you're trying to write, you would still get the mark. You wouldn't lose marks for um, spelling mistakes in a maths exam. But obviously, it is best practice to learn the spelling. Question 15. Petra and Jonah want to go on a boat trip. They choose the trip with the fewest seats booked. Which trip do they choose? So I'm going to rewrite these numbers so I can put them in order. So I've got 174, 114, 163, 129 and 146. So I want the fewest. So I'm going to look at my hundreds column. They're all a one, so that's not going to help. So I'm going to look at my tens. I've got a seven, a one, a six, a two, and a four. So this one is my smallest number, 114. Question 16. The chart shows the hotel review scores. So I've got the review score going up the side and hotels A, B, C and D. Petra and Jonah stay at Hotel D. How much higher is the review score for Hotel A than Hotel D? So I need to know how much higher this hotel is compared to this hotel. So let's look. Hotel A is in between the 14.6 and the 14, sorry, the 4.6 and the 4.8. So hotel A must be 4.7. Now hotel D, let's read along that line, is 4.4. So I need to know how much higher. So I'm gonna do that as a takeaway. So seven takeaway four is three. Don't forget your decimal point. And four takeaway four is zero. So it's 0 0.3 higher. The other way I could have worked it out is I could have counted upwards. So I know each of these little lines is 0 0.1. So I've got 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. That would have took me to the same height. And last question, the table shows what people think about the hotel. So 27 thought it was excellent, 32 thought it was good, 10 thought it was fair, and six thought it was poor. Show the number of people who think the hotel is poor on the chart. So I'll have a look at my scale. Each of these little lines is one, because let's look zero, one, two, three, four, five. Yes, each of these little lines is one. So I need to add poor, so I need to add six onto this. Now in the exam, you will be using a ruler. I can't use a ruler on the computer, so I'm gonna do the best I can, um, but please, please, please use a ruler. So that's to five, I need it to six. So I need one little line above, so there we go. I've added in my block for Pua. And that was my final question. So the whole assessment, part A and part B, was out of 28. Now the pass mark for this particular paper was 20. So 20 out of 28 would be a pass, um, 20 or anything higher. So fingers crossed you did okay on that. So thank you very much for watching. If you've got any questions, please pop it in the comments section and don't forget to like and subscribe.